Back to Rome. I'm Father Reed. Ciao, everybody. No doubt you recognize this magnificent piazza and the basilica behind me dedicated to the apostle whom Jesus called Rock, St. Peter, who was martyred and buried in this place, makes this basilica built on the Vatican Hill and its encircling colonnade and square, one of the most sacred sites in all of Christendom. This was the site, the place, where the Circus of Nero was built. And in the first century, after the Emperor Constantine officially recognized Christianity, he started construction of a great basilica in this spot, which had previously been a cemetery for both pagans as well as Christians. Then under Pope Julius II, construction of the current basilica that we all know and recognize began and was completed in 1615 under Pope Paul V. Donato Romanti was to be the first chief architect. And many famous artists were involved, including Bernini, who designed the beautiful dome and was responsible also for the great St. Peter's Square. Speaking of the elliptical St. Peter's Square, Piazza San Pietro, there are two beautiful fountains behind me. One, the left, by Carlo Moderno, and the other on the right by Bernini himself. In the very center, we see the 80-foot-tall obelisk, which dates from the 13th century. The square is outlined by the monumental colonnade by Bernini, and its open arms symbolically welcome the world into Christ's body, the church. On top of the colonnade, there are 140 statues of saints crafted between the years 1662 and 1703. And near the stairs to the basilica, at the front of the square, are the colossal statues of Saints Peter and Paul, the patron saints of Rome. The great facade of the basilica was designed by Carlo Moderno. The central balcony is called the Loggia of the Blessings and is used for the announcement of a new pope with those famous words, Habemus Papa. We have a pope and his Urbi et Orbi blessing given each Christmas and Easter morning from that same balcony. The relief above the balcony and under the balcony by Bonvicino represents Christ giving the keys to St. Peter. And the facade, topped by 13 statues in travertine of Christ the Redeemer and the 12 apostles. This is a great place. People gather here from all over the world, drawn by the grand beauty, the wealth of history, and the deep spiritual significance of this piazza and the basilica dedicated to the memory of the apostle Jesus called the rock upon which he would build his church. La piazza e la basilica di San Pietro in Vatican. For now, ciao amici. Ci vediamo presto.